We like to pretend that we know a whole lot of things. You know, we know how our spouse feels. We know how our friends are feeling. We know exactly how to make their life better. We can give all the advice, but then we do not take the time to look into our own being. We don't look into our own actions. We don't take time to reflect upon our own life. Most people don't even write in a journal. They probably have a journal. Most people have a journal. They don't use them. Most people don't reflect. They only see the fault in others and how the others can fix all the problems. I mean, one thing we certainly know about life is nobody else is gonna fix your problems. Nobody's gonna make your relationships better. Nobody's gonna make your finances better. Nobody is gonna connect you to Mother Earth or the infinite and your higher power other than you. That's it. Although, we like to pretend that we know all things. Just if that person acted just a little bit different, I would be so much more loving. I would be so much more connected. I'd be so much more willing to talk and communicate and share my emotions and be vulnerable. <sighs> well, that's just not how it works, is it? We normally uh, have a presentation every Sunday or an interview or something. This Sunday here at the Mystics of Texas and if you're in the local area, I highly encourage you to come out, if you like this video and all of our other work, to come out in person and experience it. But we're not gonna have the cameras rolling on Sunday because we have a special presentation by a guest speaker and he is gonna be talking about in depth on consciousness and uh, it's just not really set up for cameras unless we had a whole video crew and we're not doing that. So I wanted to talk about what I'm talking about today is how we do not know everything, not even close. People are adamant and absolutist about, oh, my religion is absolutely correct. I was reading this morning, an old friend from high school on a Facebook post was talking about the absolutism of and the archeological research on the life of Jesus. That was absolute. Well, there are a lot of problems with that and a lot of holes in it and a lot of scholarly debate uh, from mostly some unbiased archeologists and scholars only seeking the truth. You know, the professors, uh, tenured, you know, all these things that, that they are not worried about losing funding or getting fired for talking about that particular subject. And yet there's so much hotted, honest debate and real reasonable holes and things, people stick to an idea of what they believe to be true because their mom and daddy told them that's the way it is. But shouldn't we all know now that we shouldn't trust everything our mom and dad told us? They probably did the best they could, most of them, a lot of them did. But they don't know everything. It's impossible to know everything. We have to examine ourselves to understand we're in our emotional state as adults because we are not, or have, either way, examined ourselves and work on ourselves. It's a constant thing. I mean, we can live in inner harmony, but damn, that takes work every single day. Every time something pops up, you know, oh God, I can't pay my bill. Oh God, my job is laying me off. Oh God, my wife is leaving me. Oh God, this thing, you know, bam, these overflowing emotions override us. And then we allow our emotions to be the horses driving our carriage. And I, I've done that, we've all done that. But we can be the masters of our own ship. We can be the captains. We can guide that rudder on that boat of our life when we recognize, oh, we are coming up on this big rock, I probably should turn the rudder to avoid it. I should honor my word. I should take time whenever I feel myself getting over anxious, uh, irritated easy, just dis disturbing uh, others because of my attitude is poor, to take a few moments, sit down with yourself, just relax the mind, relax the body. Do things to relieve that stress while you can figure out what the solutions are. There's always a solution. Father Time is gonna push us through this life and through all of our problems no matter what. And in the grand scheme of things, this life on the timeline of eternity does not even exist on that timeline. It's that small. 
So we shouldn't take ourselves too seriously, but we should be very concerned when our emotions override us. There are always and is always a solution to every single problem that we have. We know we cannot trust politicians, no matter what political side you're on. We know that from around the world and human history, we can't trust a, a king, a queen, dictators to solve the world's problems, nor solve your problems. It is up to us. But what we can do is be passive and allow governments to do things to us like squash our independence of speech, our freedom of religion, our lack thereof, you know, to not be forced into a religion, but practice worshiping your higher power how you see it. It is an amazing thing, this life that we live on, if we just all ultimately take a few steps back every time we're bombarded with this life that we're all experiencing and that we're never going to be able to understand the life of the other person. We may have some sprinkles of good advice, but ultimately you can't understand anybody else unless you've exactly walked in their shoes. And nobody else is gonna fix those problems of yours except for you. If you want more romance from your spouse, then give more romance. If you want more hugs in your life, then give more hugs. If you don't want yelling and screaming in your relationship, then stop yelling and screaming. Not everybody's gonna be reciprocal with that. Some people are still gonna yell and scream. Some people are still not gonna to wanna to be hugged. Some people are still not gonna uh, receive your warmness the way you would like. That's okay, that, that's on them. You don't have to be around them. But you can solve your own needs, your own wants, your desires, and if the people around you are not reciprocating, then examine how you're presenting yourself to them. And if that does not work, then you know by that person's reactions, they're yelling, they're screaming, whatever they're doing, you don't have to be around them. You can love them from afar, you just don't have to love them in your presence. You know, physically show love and attention and let them drain your energy. It's just unnecessary because we don't know everything. We don't know all the right advice for everybody. We don't know all the uh, political and geopolitical and all the ramifications of all the craziness that's happening in the world, nor should we rely on other people. That's a whole nother topic for another time. But we can rely on ourselves to be the masters of our selves, of our ship, to control our rudder. That is really the message of this Sunday, and I really encourage, if you're in the local area, where, which is on the Texas-Louisiana border, we get together every Sunday at 1.15. We have just a beautiful, eclectic group of people. Um, this Sunday, by the time this comes out, you'll see they'll be here. We'll have a yoga instructor. We have therapists here. We have people that do guided meditations, and uh, we just have a wider range of people that are struggling with addictions. We have people that have uh, wildly financially successful, just melting away all of those things so everybody can bring their most strong points to the group to add to the flavor of this, this soup of relationships that is so beautiful and fulfilling. And I just can't even put it in words. I would encourage you to check us out at themysticsoftexas.com. And it's wonderful. And I forgot to turn my phone off, so sorry. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Have a good one.